Good morning. Anne Marie assures me that it's okay not to be on topic, so here we go. The year is a circle. There is the winter season, which gives away to spring. Then summer grows out of spring until finally the year completes itself in autumn. These are the four seasons of the heart. Several seasons can be present simultaneously in the heart, though usually at any one time, one season is dominant in your life. It is customary to understand autumn as synchronous with old age. This is the autumn time of your life. Your experience is harvested. This is a lovely backdrop against which we can understand aging. Aging is not merely about the body losing its poise, strength, and self-trust. Aging also invites you to become aware of the sacred circle that shelters your life. Within the harvest circle, you are able to gather lost moments and experiences, bring them together, and hold them as one. In actual fact, if you can come to see aging as not the demise of your body, but as the harvest of your soul, you will learn that aging can be a time of great strength, poise, and confidence. To understand the harvest of your soul against the background of seasonal rhythm should give you a sense of quiet delight at the arrival of this time in your life. It should give you strength and a sense of how the deeper belonging of your soul world will be revealed to you. And I'd like to finish with one of, uh, I'm sorry, this is from the book Anamkara by John O'Donohue, who was a seer and a mystic and just a remarkable man, uh, who was also a poet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a blessing of solitude. May you recognize in your life the presence, power, and light of your soul. May you realize that you are never alone, that your soul in its brightness and belonging connects you intimately with the rhythm of the universe. May you have respect for your individuality and difference. May you realize that the shape of your soul is unique, that you have a special destiny here, that behind the facade of your life, there is something beautiful, good, and eternal happening. May you learn to see yourself with the same delight, pride, and expectation with which God sees you in every moment. Namaste.